what's going on here. But you've got the wrong guys. Me and Mr. Martin, we're just property developers. Normal, honest property developers. Yes. All we want to do is to find a beautiful, unspoiled piece of land and put thousands of homes on it. I know who you are. You do? Yes. You intend to unearth the past. I can't allow that. Please, don't kill us. We'll do anything you ask. We'll be your sex puppets. Will we? Yes. Well, you went straight to sex puppets and they're having a bit tamer first. <sighs> Wait. Maybe just kill him and not me. Seriously? I was best man at your wedding. Best available man, yes. Keith was on holiday. Here we go, Keith. He's always on about bloody golden boy, Keith. I bet you'd rather be here with Keith now. God, no. Then he'd be killed. That's the one good thing about you being here. At least Keith is safe. Silence. <laughs> it is time. Fine. Do what you're going to do, but know this. When we are up in heaven, because all property developers go there, we will both be looking down at you with utter contempt. Look down on me as much as you like. have been tasked with training you further to make you more effective law enforcement officers. Gemma Bremer, you are not a leader in any field, but your presence was requested by an anonymous informant that is helping us with a double murder and will speak to you and you alone. <gasps> Excitement. Put me good joggers on for this. Go! Work! Move! Keep going! Move fast! Oh, come on! Move you up under bloody each! What's wrong with you, you little ginger? Red or blue? Red or blue? Oh, well, if in doubt, cook both. Oh, oh, oh! Tell me what I need to know. something you're good at. They told me it was pointless trying to teach me anymore, and they just gave me my certificate and told me to read this manual. Oh, yeah. And the gun nearly forgot. <laughs> I'm looking how you managed to forget about the dangerous weapon. You know, with the mere minutes of being given it. I know. What am I like? Come on. We don't want to keep Mr. Anonymous waiting. We need to get to the scene of the crime. Barrington Rugby Club? Hey, Bevington Rug Pickle. One of the Bevington Wasps. Doing your research. I'm impressed. Not research, it's my life. As a kid, my Uncle Brian used to take me watching Bevington Wasps every Saturday. It's only a bright spot and an otherwise dreary channel. Sat on the terraces watching the game, with my Uncle Brian in the bar drinking. And after the match, he'd make us meet him and remind him where we lived. Well, come on then. With all your insider knowledge, we'll crack this case in no time. 
Uh, yeah, but what I still don't get is why this mystery informant just wants you. I mean, I am always there when they catch the killer, as you well know. I mean, begrudgingly, yeah, but I'm still there. Oh, that'll be the ambulance. Tiny teething issue with the gun. Not for seven of them. Well, with this new training, does that make you my superior? No. No, not at all. And in many ways, absolutely yes. Just for clarity, when you were training to safely use the gun, did you actually shoot somebody with the gun? When it's an accident, Terry, it's called a negligent discharge, yeah? And I may have discharged at someone negligently. <laughs> so here's the note. Send Gemma Bremer and I will help you solve this case. Oh, I like this one. Takes pride in this work. It's got beautiful handwriting and impeccable taste in investigators. And here we have the victims. Mr. Martin and Mr. Bradley. Property developers, both were found dead on top of the rugby posts. Both victims had this strange symbol carved into their foreheads. I've no idea what it represents. Maybe they were goths. Goths? In high-vis jackets. How'd they get them up there? Cherry picker. One was found down the road. No prints on it or nothing. They weren't even tied on there. They were inserted into what Mother calls... The dirty place. Oh. That one there. Mm. You then, then. Police people. I am. He's not. <laughs> not sure you'll make it. You must be here about the pesky little double murder. <laughs> I'm Gwyn, club chairman. Pleased to meet you. You don't happen to have a pan for the parking, do you? Uh, do you not get free parking working here? Not for me. For you. Your parking. It's a pound. Please. Lee, shall we just pop in? Get this over and done with soonest. Yes? Good. This has been just awful for the club. We'd agreed a sale of the ground to Bradley and Martin, bulldozers booked and everything. Let's guess that deal's off the table now. They've both been impaled. Wait, what? You're selling the club? You can't do that. After we're broke. Oh, financial difficulties. I smell a clue. Make yourself useful, Terry, and remember that. Just need to strike a deal with another property developer. There are other interested parties. Shouldn't take too long. Once hopefully you've caught the killer. Oh. We will. This investigation will be run by the book. This book. I'm already two chapters in. So, uh, the press are here, pain in the bum. But um, maybe while you're talking... There's only one brave heart. <laughs> Pardon me, Lord. You asked me to come in your stead. I 
sent for him, and he sent you. Shall I leave, Lord? If he wants his queen to rule when I am gone, then by all means stay. Learn how. Please. Nobles. Nobles are the key to the door of Scotland. Grant our nobles lands in the north, give their nobles estates here in England, and make them too greedy to oppose us. But, sir, our nobles will be reluctant to uproot. New lands mean new taxes, and they're already taxed for the war in France. Aye. Aye. Wait for it. Wait for it. Is that it's full of Scots? <laughs> Perhaps the time has come to reinstitute an old custom. An old custom. Wait for it. Grant them prima nocte. What is that? First night, when any common girl inhabiting their lands is married, our nobles shall have sexual rights to her on the night of her wedding. Now, if Trump wishes to enact such an old custom in this day and age, some of their noble lords just might be a little disappointed in the bride. <laughs> or would they? Hmm? Or would they? <laughs> 